Hello, good to see you. My name's Tony, FM DNA, back for another tactic testing video before FM23 comes out. And if you're interested in FM23, I do have a 5% extra discount code at Fanatical, what brings it down to £32.05. And with early access and all that good stuff, so it saves you some money and it also helps me out a little bit for this channel. So, what tactic we're testing out today is Hoodcrack 433 V1.3. Yes, but before we get into it, if you can please like, I've got to remember everything. If you can please like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff, I truly, really appreciate it. If you want to download this tactic, will be in the description below, also with that 5% discount from Fanatical. It will be. But if you can't download it for any reason, follow what I'm going to show you now. So what do we have in goal? We've got a sweeper keeper on support. On the left-hand side, we've got a wing back on support. There will be some add-on instructions, so pause it when need be. We've got a ball playing defender on defend. We've got another ball playing defender on defend. We've got a full back attack on the right hand side. We've got a defensive midfield on support. We've got a box to box midfield on support. We've got a central midfield on attack. On the left hand side, inside forward attack. And on the right hand side, inside forward attack. And up front, we've got an advanced forward attack. Tactical style is a custom one, mentality positive. In possession, what do we have? Attacking width, fairly, na fairly narrow. Passing direct is shorter. Tempo extremely high, time wasting never, low crosses, work the ball into the box, run at the fence, be more expressive. In transition, what do we have? Counter press. We're not having counter. Normally, we've always got counter on. We've got counter press, slow the pace down, distribute the full backs, distribute the centre backs. Love it. A little bit different for a change. Out of possession, what do we have? Use offside trap, much higher line of engagement, stand in defensive line, defensive with standard. Trigger, spread, trigger press more often and prevent short goal hit distribution. That's your lot. Put my teeth back in. Got it out there in the end. Uh, what do we do here? We choose three teams, Main City, West Ham and Norwich. We leave the system manager in charge. He has to play this tactic. And then we come to the end of the season. We have all the points and put it into our fun tactic testing league table. It's all about the fun. Now let's check out the results. Kicking off with the Community Shield and the Carabao Cup, and it's all green. It's all what I want to see. It's amazing. We beat Leicester 3-0, and in the final, beat Leeds 2-0 in the Carabao Cup. Beat Man United in the semi-final along the way. Watford, Tottenham, Burnley. Good. In the FA Cup, it's not quite as good. Uh, we beat Ipswich Town 2-0, but we lost to Southampton. Southampton, 3-2, my local team. Not the best. In the Champions League group stages, we topped it with 15 points. When I say topped it, on goal difference. Barcelona pushing us all the way. We did lose one game against Barcelona 1-0. In the knockout rounds, we play Villarreal. We beat them 2-1, 2-0. Then Liverpool in the Champions League quarterfinal lost 3-1 away from home. The home leg, the leg that you expect to win, maybe come back, but we lost 4-0. Yeah, got thrashed. In the league, it's not so great either. 80 points. That's a little bit low. Points tally. Second place. Good goal difference, 53 Lost six, drew eight, won 24 games, a 7 0 fraction of Watford, I can see there, 4 1 of Arsenal, or 1 0 of Liverpool. So there are some good results there. Goals wise, what do we have? Bernardo Silva, 20 goals. Don't normally have him as our top goal scorer. Sterling, 18. No Kevin De Bruyne having a quiet season for a change. Average ratings, what do we have? Bernardo Silva, best player at the club, 7.51. Carl Walker, 7.42. And that, that's it. We normally have a fair few more guys as well, but it's, I suppose it's not been the greatest of season. Edison, 17 clean sheets, second place, that's good. Yellow card, what do we have? No one, which is very good. So we're on the team overall view, most points per game, second place, so we've got a 2.11. Most goals, second place, 84. Most shots, four, 684 shots. Uh, fewer shots against, second place, 323. Best pass completion, we're in 7th spot with 89%. Uh, most possession, we're not on there. Most tackles won, we're not on there. Most dribbles made, we are on there and we're top with 497. Most clean sheets, 2nd place with 17. Fewest conceded, 2nd place, only conceding 31 goals for the season, which is very, very good. Not as good as Liverpool, obviously, but still very good. Won the Carabao Cup, Community Shield, everything else is a bit not great. It's not bad, just not great. Before I start dissing the tactic, still a very good tactic. Now let's check out West Ham. So it's the start of the season, and this is West Ham's best eleven without restrictions. Now let's check out the results. 
in the Carabao Cup. We got so close, losing to Chelsea in the final on penalties. Beat Crystal Palace along the way, beat Burnley, beat Arsenal 2-1 along the way, beat Nottingham Forest. But like I say, we lost to Chelsea on penalties. Was very, very gutted in the FA Cup. We've gone out a little bit early. We beat Swansea City 4-0, but lost to Leicester City in the fourth round of the FA Cup. In the Europa League group stages, we topped our group with 12 points. Goldham's a 10. We only conceded three goals in the whole group stages, which is very good. Scoring 13. We lost two. Didn't draw any. 1-4. Oh, it's a group that you would expect us to get through. We did. And like I say, conceding only three goals in that group stages is very, very good. Defensively, great. And then, played F Played Atletico Madrid. Really good. 4-3, 2-1. Galatasaray, excellent. Lazio, lost 4-0 away from home. The home leg won 4-2, but it's not enough. Mobile, amazing. Did Mobile score on the first leg as well? He did. Such a good striker. Really good. But in the league, a very good result. Fourth place, Champions League football, 69 points. 27 goal difference. Lost 13, drew 3, won 22. Uh, fourth place, Champions League football, excellent. 69 points, which is good. We needed a good performance from West Ham because Man City's was a little bit lacking. But West Ham's very good. Goals-wise, what do we have? Uh, Bowen with 13 goals. Is that that it? That's it. Uh, what do we have on average rating-wise? Who's the best performer? Could you guess it already? Aaron Creswell with 7.30. And Kurt Zuma with 7.24. Clean sheets. It was very good Man City and pretty good West Ham. 12 clean sheets, joint 7th spot. So that is a very good. Yellow cards wise, we didn't have any with Man City. We've only got one guy on there with 9 yellow cards, which is pretty good. So you don't need to worry. Uh, most points per game, joint 4th spot of a 1.82. Most goals, 3rd spot, 71 goals. Most shots, 4. We're in 8th spot with 476. Fewer shots against, we're not on there. Best pass completion, no. Most possession, no. Most tackles, one. No. Most dribbles made, yes. And it's 508. Most clean sheets. Just shaking my head. Fewest conceded. We are on the eight spot, conceding 44 goals. Liverpool conceding 13. Yeah, what can you do? What can you do about that? Runner up in the Carabao Cup is great. Semi final Europa League is not bad. Early in the FA Cup, 69 points, which is good. Champions League football, which is good. Now, is Norwich going to be good? Let's check it out. So at the start of the season, this is Norwich's best 11 about restrictions. Now, for the final time, let's check out the results. In the Carabao Cup, we've gone out early. I say early, in the third round. We did beat Middlesbrough 4-1, but we lost 2-1 against uh, Tottenham in the FA Cup. Deja vu. We lost against Tottenham 2-1, but we did beat Huddersfield Town 8-1. Uh, yeah, in the league, 6th place. Very good. 14 places above our season preview. 65 points. Oh, this is interesting now. That's a good points tally. Normally, Norwich is the team that lets us down, but I've got a feeling it's going to be Man City that let the side down. Goldham's a 19. We lost 9. We drew 11. We won 18. A good 5-1 win against Crystal Palace. 5-2 against Leicester City. Entertaining 5-4 against Southampton. I'm just checking out some of these results. Puki, top goal scorer in the league. 23 goals. Anyone else sneaking in? No. That's all you need. All you need is Puki in your life. Uh, Max Aaron's in the sixth spot of the best player at the club with average rating wise 7.39. That is your lot. Uh, clean sheets, what have we got? It was great with Main City, good with West Ham. Nine clean sheets? I don't think that's too bad with Norwich. I think that's all right. But yellow cards wise, we have picked up a fair few more yellow cards. We nearly got the top three. Well, we have got the top three. It's a joint 13, 14 yellow cards. You might need to worry if you're playing as Norwich. West Ham. Main City, perfectly fine. But Norwich, filthy. Uh, most points per game, 6 point with 1.71. Most goals, fair place with 79. Most shots for, 7th spot, 499. Fewer shots against, we're not on there. This is where I just keep shaking my head. Best pass completion, no. Most possession. Most tackles won, no. Fewer, most dribbles made, yes. 477 in second place. Most clean sheets, not on there. Fewest conceded, we're not on there, but it doesn't matter. This is the tactic testing league. We're looking at this, the points tally, 65 points. Hmm, interesting. This is, I was going to say it's going to be close. Like I said, I think it's going to be Man City that's let this team down. 
uh, or let the side down, should I say. Right, let me add up all these points and put it in our fun tactic testing league table, which is coming up next. So sadly, Hoodcrack doesn't make it into the top 20, but I feel like I'm saying that a lot lately. It's hard to get into the top 20. We've tested so many great tactics. This is not to say this is not a great tactic because it, I think it really is. Done really well with West Ham and really well with Norwich. It finished on 214 points, six points away. It won 64, drew 22, lost 28, a goal difference of 99. It will be in the description below to check it out. But like I say, it's so, so close. Like I say, six points away. Brilliant in West Ham, brilliant in Norwich, and just to need a few more points from Main City. Like I said, if you want to save yourself a bit more money on FM23, I do have a code. Will be in the description below from Fanatical. And yeah, save yourself some money. Helps you out, helps me out, helps everyone out. Thank you so much for watching. Please come back again and I will see you in the next video.